What is up everybody, this is Always back with another video on JavaFX animation package. So in the last few videos I've shown you how to use a fade transition, translate transition, rotate transition, and scale transition. So one important transition is left in this series. This is uh, going to be the last video of this animation series. So that's going to be a path transition, which are really helpful. So you can create the path and you can make any object to follow that path and animate towards that path. So first thing what we do is we create a circle, which is going to be a path. I'm gonna name it new circle. And we can set the radius for that was going to be, let's say 200 is fine. And I forgot the semicolon. And then we're gonna set the location for x so that's going to be 300 which is going to make it in the center set a location y give it 300 as well this is going to make it in the center as well so we got the circle as a path now we need to create a path transition so let's use the class path transition and uh, i'm gonna name it pl is equal to new path transition and then we can come down here. Now, first thing what we do is we set the node to part transition. So let's just say PL dot set node. That's going to be our rectangle, what we have. And PL dot set part, that's going to be circle. And then we can say PL dot set or reversal, make it true. PL dot set cycle count. Let's just make it keep going. So animation are indefinite. And then we have uh, our part done. And now instead of playing it here, what I can do, I can create a parallel transition. But first let's look at it actually. So I'm gonna just PL dot play. And uh, we have added the rectangle into the scene and now let's run the application and let's see if we have we forgot to give it a duration that's why it's so fast so let's just give it duration as well so i'm just gonna come down here and pl dot set duration that's going to be let's say two seconds okay now we got the duration set up now let's if it's smooth or not all right so we got two second transition right so it's coming back as well it's gonna keep going because we set that to auto reversal so i'm just gonna make it false and uh, now instead of playing the parallel transition here we can make a little bit cooler we can use the uh, parallel transition class so parallel transition class we are going to name well parallel transition new parallel transition and here we can set the node so let's just say set the node which is going to be rectangle that's our node and then children we can pass in the transition we want to play so let's just say we're gonna play pl bar transition then we have the st scale transition and then we have the rt rotate transition then we have translate transition don't worry about that because that's another translate ob um, object because it's going to take the rectangle from one place to another so that's why we don't need that and then we can just uh, forgot the semicolon again then we can just say parallel transition dot play and one more thing here we're gonna set the cycle counts for each of these transition so we have the cycle count for this i'm gonna make it animate dot indefinite and on the top we can set the cycle count to animate dot indefinite as well we have the cycle count we don't worry about it because we're not adding that so now let's run the application and let's see Okay, as you can see that the circle is um, falling apart while playing those transitions as well. So as you can see, you can make pretty cool transition with the path transition. I can show you a few other things that you could do with the path transition. Let me just show you one thing. I'm just going to create a new FXML empty file, which is not going to have any controller or any, anything. So we're just going to show you that what you can do with it so i'm just going to go others 
and I'm going to select empty fxml file. Where is it? Yeah, it's empty fxml file. Let's just name whatever it is. We're not gonna add control or style tree. So this is a empty fx file. I'm just going to open this in scene builder. Okay, so in the scene builder, as you can see, we have anchor pane. And if I just change the dimension for that, because if we add that to our file, this is going to be MVC pattern. And now uh, we have to do a lot of code. But what I want to show you here is that you have this sh in the shape, you have uh, these path objects. So as you can see that we have this path object, we have this uh, polyline. So you can create a polyline, whether you want to take the set uh, rectangle here from there and then there and there and there. So it's all up to you. You can create a polyline or any kind of path from here so these are all the shapes that you can apply the path transition on so the most common one is if you select this path as you can see that it's got few objects so if we go to hierarchy here i'm gonna expand that path so we have the move to we have line we have arc in this we have quarter curve to and we have a close path Okay, so you can use this part and you can even modify this part by going to, let's say if I select a line and we go to the layout and we can change the X value to let's say 10. And as you can see that the line is going to uh, 10. So now you can just play around with this and then you can apply the part transition on uh, the these kind of objects such as we have a simple circle now so you can create a like pretty complicated path and you can pass in that spot as a path in the path uh in the path transition all right so this is a really good transition as well and uh i think we have covered pretty much uh the whole class so here we have covered the post transition pretty simple just create an object and then you can pass in some parameters to it so you can just read uh, the information here that's why i'm showing you the documentation for animation class and the most important one is i'll probably do a project about this i've done that in um, in one of my game development tutorials so that's a timeline timer class where is it yep animation timer class this is the one so it's really good that it's gonna make your the game really so it's, it's this is basically you can have the update method in that class which which is going to keep running until you stop the timer so that's really cool so pretty much we've created and we have uh, discussed about these transitions and uh, that's it for this series guys and thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions about this or if you're not sure about any of these uh, transitions here let me know in the comments below and i'll talk to you guys in the next video cheers